Good afternoon. It is my favorite time of the day to speak to our patient online. So I got a few questions today about uh, ovarian cyst. So what is ovarian cyst? So the definition of, in our case, the most common cysts is, let's say this is the ovary. And you have many follicles. Cysts is something big structure filled with blood or water. And filled with the blood, usually it's a corpse routine, eventually degenerate, or sometimes due to endometriosis, okay, endometriosis. Another cyst called a simple cyst, basically it's a cyst filled with water, clear water. And the most time we talk about cyst is this cyst. So, in, so where does cyst come from? <clears throat> During ovulation, follicle getting big, 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 and then the egg free swim and the drop out. That causes ovulation. Sometimes the follicle fail to ovulate and they continue to grow and they become cysts. So in what kind of circumstance cysts are very common? Usually when the lady going through drug cycle to produce more eggs and some small follicle for many different reasons are not operated properly, they become cysts. Also, lady with advanced maternal age, when their average FSH level are not very well coordinated, they fail to operate properly, they become cysts. So that's why when the lady going through heavy daily injections after the finish of the IVF cycles, we always consider the residual structure from small follicle never had egg develop, eventually become cysts. So this is where the cysts come from. For the patient with low ovarian reserve, sometimes the brain even made the follicle grow, but forgot to ask the ovary to release the egg that become cysts. So when the lady with low ovarian reserve or perimenopausal women to see the cysts, that's a good sign, at least we are producing eggs. Then we need some medication to coordinate the two hormones to ensure egg to be mature properly to produce eggs. The two hormones, one called FSH, and one called LH. If you don't see this kind of curve, I'm sorry, this pen. If you don't see this kind of a curve, then you can call cysts. So there are many different kinds of cysts, and uh, how should we how should we deal with the cysts? It depends on the situation. If we're ready to start in vitro fertilization, we want to produce multiple follicles. If we have two, three big cysts, we have to wait. If the lady have low in reserve, we are going through a natural cycle, and the, all the follicles on the side of which has no cysts, then we don't need to wait. Because sometimes wait to, for the cyst to go away, it may take two or three months, and the patient may not have that much time. So. Well, it's based on the situation, okay? So that's what we want to talk about, the cysts today. Take care. Bye.